Well, let me try again here. And we'll stand on the right away what was the White Oak Railroad. Because I've been doing a lot of videos on this line here lately. Well, not lately, but I've been trying to do a series of videos on what uh, on the White Oak Railroad. I'm doing this dress before here in Mount Hope, right below my house today. However, I do have other videos because this threat of railroad was actually removed, I think, at the start of World War II from, there's a certain spot up here, I can say you, I guess I walked this whole stretch here. Of course, parts of it's people's backyards now. But I, I guess I could say I, I have done a bunch of videos on this particular railroad. I got, I think I deleted the, two, the video I've done the Beckley Rail Trail, which is white part, part of the Wild Oak Railroad, so I need to redo that video. And I don't know what this thing is. I just noticed, I think I've seen it before, but I've never paid attention to it. it has nothing to do, with, absolutely nothing to do with the railroad. Uh, it's some kind of saw machine or something. Uh, it's setting in the poison ivy. <laughs> I'm not getting any closer than that. It's actually setting in poison ivy. And that's probably been, I don't know how long that's been there. I think I've seen it before, but I've never really paid attention. Most of the time, if I'm on this stretch through here, I'm using the car going somewhere. Because when I do my walks, when I'm walking through town, I, I cut down that road right here. This back road that goes, I think one of them is called Delaware Street. One's called Wall Street, Helen Lane. Okay, one of these lanes is Helen Lane. Which is probably, I think that's the one that goes around, around the... Free World Baptist Church here, they call it Helen Lane. I still remember the names of all the streets as long as I lived here. Of course, it don't help that the signs are gone. But this is why Oak Valley has been gone since the start of World War II, but then a lot of it was still around. But, if you get, but before I continue, if you're curious about more videos I've done, I still, there's a video over in this, over in Oak Hill where I've done that says, what's left of the White Oak Railroad. It says about a mile of track that's still left over in Oak Hill, which is about eight miles from here. That area is a nice area to walk the White Oak Rail Trail, which follows the right way through Oak Hill and through, through Bossy and, well, not Mossy, but Oakwood, it don't go to Mossy. There's a bunch of, there's two or three old coal mining towns it goes through. And there's about a mile of track that's left that the rail trail follows that the city of Oak Hill saved for historical purposes. That's actually not that far from here. Because this rail line used to go all the way to Oak Hill at one time. All the way through Oak Hill. Now you can't follow the waterway that way anymore because parts of the waterway goes through across private properties. And parts of the waterway, I forgot to point out, there's actually a railroad tie sticking up out of the pavement there from the railroad crossing it used to be there. Forgot to point that out. Yeah. I don't like trying to start the video for the third time. Actually, it would be the fourth time because I had a little bit of trouble. My camera glitched on one video, then I did another video. I think I was drawing somebody in the truck turned around and was staring at me. Probably wondering why some random person holding the camera. I get that when I do these videos. You have a smartphone you're filming, nobody pays attention to you. You have a, old, a digital camera filming, people pay attention to you. <laughs> it's like people are like, oh, somebody has a smartphone, he's taking selfies, taking business, they pay no attention. You, but yet they do the camera. Oh, I'm pointing out the outdoor fitness equipment. This is pretty cool. Right through here. That the balance beam that you stand and walk on, the push up bar, the set up bar. Wait a minute. What is this push up and set up? Yeah, push up bar, balance beam, set up bar. Set up bents. Oh, set up bents for putting your feet on. I had to look for a minute and there's the setting up bents. 
It's nice outdoor fitness equipment. I don't know if it's used much. I've used it a few times, but I don't think a lot of people use it. I very rarely see people here. I see my boss here a few, and his family here a few times, and I've seen a couple other people in the neighborhood, but most of the time I walk past here, there's nothing there. There's nobody there. That's why I meant to say not enough, and I meant to say there's nobody there most of the time I walk past here. God, they're redoing the walkway there. They tore the old steps and walkway out, and I'm wondering how they're getting out of that house. Not one of my best videos. <laughs> yeah, people just want me doing more walking videos to Mount Hope, so I'm going to try to do more. But something else I'm going to do more videos. That's a stuffed cat. I thought that was real for a second there. That's a stuffed animal. I'm going to start doing more videos as time goes on, and I'm going to start traveling. Now I'm going to do more videos here in Mount Hope, but I'm going to start traveling to different states. I like to do videos where I go across the country and do a bunch of places in different parts of the country in different states. Eventually I'll do that. I would have done that this year if it weren't for the coronavirus and the country shutting down. I was actually going to get, go to some friends, fly down to Charlotte, North Carolina, spend like my sister's house, house, catch the train out of Charlotte and ride, and ride it all the way to New Orleans. I came in as I could ticket prices, but on Amtrak you can get a great deal. You can get your own little room on the train. I think I caught the Sunset Sunset Limited. It goes, it starts in the Carolinas and goes all the way to the West Coast. It's actually a nice train to ride. You can travel all the way across the country in it. Me personally, I've never done it, but I've talked to a couple friends who have, and they told me it's a great experience. The experience is a lot of fun and recommended it. My plan was to travel to New Orleans, Louisiana, with a couple of friends. Rent, rent a car and got down there, actually spent a few days in New Orleans, and then after that, travel up to a St. Francisville, spend the night in the Models Plantation, actually, and suck out a few other places, maybe even go to Texas and Oklahoma while we were there, because you're not that far from there. Of course, when I was putting the money back and planning it to do it, me and my friends were trying to set the date. The whole coronavirus thing happened and the, basically the country shut down, so it did not happen. And then I had to use a lot of my savings for stuff stuff like a new washer and dryer and I paid to have work done to my house and everything else, so oh well. I'll get a sense to do that again one day. I'm just glad the current things get back to normal. But, the railroad waterway came right through there with the two grasses and the fence. It came to tell the railroad track was ever through there. But I like to point out that that up until the early 80s, it still went from here from here on to Virginia Street. It's still attached because of the rail ducts of Virginia Street went across Dunlop Creek and rail ducts and the rail spur the rail line came to here because it dead ended, but from there on, it was pulled up and started World War II. Of course, the freight depot was still used as late as 1972. I, they still had the passenger service here as late as 62. I think in 1962, they just continued passenger service on the Don Luke Creek branch line, but the passenger train used to run from Thurman and go on the freight tube boat Thurman. Although I don't think the passenger service went on this line anymore. Because they got the Dunlop Creek branch line, gained access to the Sucker Creek Spur, and then they got the Sucker Creek Spur up hacks and travel down what's now the Norfolk Southern line. But at some point, they just continue the, the Dunlop Creek branch line, and basically, well, the passenger service, and basically what was the Virginia Pacific, which became Norfolk Southern in 1959, now Canal River Railroad owns all that. They apparently just give you a passenger service. They even went as far as the miles and most of the freight depots and train stations along the way. The line, they didn't say probably even the packs, and even the Mullins, all these places. The one in Charleston, they, it's saved because apparently it was sold to another company who is it's now the capital market in downtown Charleston. But it's actually really cool because it's like a grocery store type mall type thing. It's kind of cool because you've got different sections that you can go to. You've got the butcher where you can get all these meats. You've got different type of foods. You've got fresh produce. But it's an amazing place to go. I don't stop there hardly ever because I don't live there. It's a little ways away to go shopping. 
Although when I when I when my sister left down there, I think I stopped there a few times. So I stayed with my sister and we'd buy stuff. But the waterway goes to here. Well, there's some nets. The railroad ties might still be here. I think they buried the city body in dark and gravel, and I think they buried them instead of removing them. But that stretch through here, there's a lot of railroad ties. I got a photo on, on the abandoned railroad space where we got a little bit of snow just a dusting the snow. And you can tell where the railroad ties are because the snow stuck to the grass, stuck to the ground where the railroad ties were. It's actually an interesting sight because it's that heavy wet snow. It was just barely covered the trees, but where the railroad ties were, it actually was laid on the ground. I should say. So, so when when you get a light coating of snow. You can tell while the railroad ties are through here, they're still here because it's like the snow stays there and not anywhere else in the gravel if it's just a light coating like a dusting. <laughs> Anything else more than that, all this gets covered. That's my neighbors wondering what I'm doing. <laughs>